Welcome back to another episode. We're changing up this time. You can do up a Android Auto radio in this uh, 2010 Ram. Uh, we're just getting ready to do our standard checks of the vehicle before we take anything apart. See what's on the dash. You can see check engine lights on before we touch anything. Turn the radio on, make sure nothing sounds weird, and check all the, the balance, the fade. Which sounds like we have a blown door speaker. Yeah, there's definitely something missing on the passenger front door. you to follow other than that everything else is working I have to let the customer know he needs a new door speaker Connection to your see if we can't work that into something here a little later on yeah we're taking these apart we have two t20 screws at the top and with some some of them in behind this little panel down here a nice little pick tool so you can get it from the back side that way you don't scratch up the panels and then it just pops out of there and we have a, our torx bit which I gotta go get a, an extension one second okay let's take that out of there like I said, it's not, not on all of them, but it is on some. Now, shut the truck off. Don't want it because the AC was feeling really good. We have Hurricane Lee coming towards us, and things are getting kind of humid up here. And Sometimes, you, there we go. You just gotta find that right spot for them. And then, we start disconnecting all the connectors. They're all fairly easy to come out. They all just have their little push tabs on them. There we go. And there's our radio. Dodge's wonderful creation in this thing. And then it's just a 7mm screw to take it out, take out the screws that hold the radio in place. I even tried to eject the CD and there's not one in it, so this radio is good to come up and never have to worry about going back in again. Just a factory piece that's no longer any good to them. Before we're done, we may have to do a little trimming to get the double din radio to fit in there. But uh, we'll get to that when we get there. Now to go take you over to the bench and get some wiring done. Try this again. I had a little camera malfunction there. Kind of fell off my mount. So let's start with our, some of our speaker wires. Get some of this stuff wired up here. Slipping the heat shrink on first. That way I don't forget about it. 
all these tags on here labeled in Chinese. At least they, they have it in both Chinese and English on this one. Here's our purple, get our, our rear speakers wired up. And they're even using the, the standard basic wire colors for aftermarket radios, which makes it a little bit nicer. These little connector plugs that I'm wiring up, they came with a CH1 harness for the Maestro unit. And uh, it's so that way you can, if you've got a factory amplified system, or if you don't have a factory amplified system, you can still wire it up either which way. Here we go again. Invest in a better, better mounting system for my camera. Just using my my Samsung phone for this for right now. I may start looking for a better camera. So if anyone has any suggestions, feel free to comment with the what you use, and I'll take a look, see what. Uh, See if it works for here. We're just starting out this page. Trying to keep things real low. And learn learn from others. Trying to keep the wiring halfways organized with with their own colors. That way you don't have everything all twisted and wrapped around. And Try and keep it looking half ways professional looking. I don't know if you the weather outside right now just nice sunny hot you'd never believe that we're supposed to have this hurricane lee coming up here tomorrow and trying to make a mess of everything that tape out of the way and 
and jump onto the front right speakers here. Nice gray ones. I said, at least they were nice and kept the wiring colors what they're supposed to be for aftermarket colors. I think that's about where where the quality is going to end on this, but we will find out. Not the most glamorous part of doing this. This is what takes the time to make it look look good. Followed up with the dash kit to have it mounted in the dash, look like it's supposed to be there. I am going to come back and close up all that heat shrink. I'm just doing it all at the same time rather than turning the heat gun on half a dozen times. Strip the clean off that wire for the illumination. Now, I know, I know some of you guys out there are probably saying I should be using the right color heat shrink over the, the wire. Uh, I do plan to be doing that here soon. Just trying to find a, a good quality supplier of it. But I do put the red over the two power wires. Helps identify them that they are power. Yeah. And here's the, the HR dash CH1 harness it does have the the reverse wire in the harness for the the backup camera that I'm going to be installing as well helps make my life a little bit better that it's already there Sadly, the, the radio itself is not a Maestro compatible unit, so you, it's not going to get all the features. And I just, I try and sell mainly just the, the Maestro RRs or RR2 depending on the customer's needs. That way if they ever decide to upgrade to a, a better radio they can get all the benefits and features that the RR and RR2 offer. Trim up that wire.
in this one here they actually have two different they have the power antenna as well as the power continuous for if there was an amplifier from the factory or if you're adding and installing an aftermarket amplifier And because that's a a 12 volt signal it gets the red heat shrink to show that it is a power Make some noise with the heat gun here. Start shrinking up some some of this heat shrink and depending on where and what I'm doing for the heat shrink. Sometimes I like to use uh, just a little mini butane torch. Other times I like to just have it hanging out on the bench here with me and I can use it to shrink everything down all at the same time. this heat shrinks a four to one ratio which makes it nice because it really really shrinks down onto the wires and and it's also uh, aligned with an adhesive which gives it that much extra protection against any elements out there if it ever sees any hopefully it doesn't because it's in the back in behind the rate factor radio inside the vehicle See, by doing it like this, I can just heat shrink everything down in a giant group. Yeah. All right. Shut that off. Plug in a few connectors here to help organize things a little bit more. And then we got to go inside, program up the, the our unit for the vehicle. Plug it in, test it, make sure everything works. Then we're going to make this harness look all nice and pretty. I'm not, not going to tape it all up and give it the final look before I test it to make sure it actually wants to work with me. Sorry about that guys, girls, subscribers. This took a little bit longer. There's more problems than expected. It's uh, just one of the cheap Chinese units. They never seem to really fit that well. Nothing seems to really line up and, and work but after some creative adjustments on mounts and figuring it out I did get it so it sits in looks half decent uh, I wasn't able to get all the steering wheel controls programmed I had it up on volume but it will not program any 
anything else. Uh, we have our backup camera all set, ready to go. Nice shot of our little pop-up camper. Still need to adjust the, the camera for better viewing. We've already gone through. Check, made sure everything was all in phase, balanced proper, everything's working. Even uh, GPS, that's still working from inside the building. Uh, not much to show for the wiring for the backup camera. It's your your basic license plate mount. I have it running along the factory harness coming right up into the cab in the back of the radio and uh, all good to go there. The same with the wiring. I got that all GPS finished. Signal lost. It was all finished up, tidied. I put some Tessa tape on it, made it look all nice and factory. Maybe next one I won't have quite so many issues with trying to get it to mount and make it look somewhat decent in there. And uh, I won't forget to uh, videotape the rest of the wiring and the rest of the install. So I hope, uh, hope you like it. Like I said in my previous ones, this is just the starting of hopefully at all kinds. And uh, from that point forward, Hopefully I can start getting more, more uh, angles, better content, better view, and uh, all in all, help explain what I'm doing more, and uh, just letting everybody see what what all goes on when you go to put in a radio and or powder coating, or whatever it is that I'm going to be doing that day. Until next time, keep that music cranked, 